My name is Reed Carlberg, and today I'm going to walk you through Cloud Converter, a utility I put together to help you migrate data from traditional dirt-bound databases, things like Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, up to the Force.com cloud. We're going to start by looking at a developer org. This is my standard developer org, and I want to demonstrate to you that the data I'm about to migrate doesn't already exist. So we're going to scroll down to the custom object screen and just verify that there's nothing there called my table. You'll see that nothing's there. If we cruise over to Eclipse, you'll see that I have Cloud Converter already downloaded from Google Code. I'm going to open up the source Java. I'm going to look into the COM model metrics Cloud Converter package. And I'm going to go ahead and run Cloud Converter. You see it starts to prompt me for some information in my console. So I'm going to enter my force.com credentials here. And it's going to prompt me for the password. Note that I'm just entering a standard password. I don't have a security token on the end of it. This is because I've whitelisted my IP address in my dev org, so I don't need to. It goes ahead and logs in. It's going to ask me now what type of DIRT database I want to migrate uh, from in order to create a new object in my developer org. In this case, I'm going to use Apache Derby. Derby is a portable or distributable database. So I've got a sample Derby database that's included with your uh, cloud converter download. So it's a good first step in order to see how the system works. You'll see where it's going ahead and it inspects the uh, source data, finds that there are five columns, executes a create for my table, adds some fields, works on the layout, does a custom tab, it's waiting for a moment, and it will start moving the data. And it moves the data. Great. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, developer org. We'll take a look at it. So I'm still on the custom object screen. I'll do a simple refresh. And you'll see when I scroll down, I now have something called My Table. So the only thing that Cloud Converter doesn't do for you out of the box is convert the security setting on uh, My Table so that everybody can see it. So I'm going to do that right now by clicking into Profiles. I'm going to edit then the System Administrator Profile. You'll see where Tab is normally hidden, so I'm going to turn it to Default On. Click Save. View all my tabs, and there's my tables. I'll go ahead and click on a View for All. You'll see I have three of them that I've moved over. So here's the name, and then uh, these are the fields, which I actually moved from the uh, dirtbound database into force.com. So I've got my name, my number, my date, timestamp, and a long text. So read, five, and then uh, the rest of the information you can see. Uh, I'll go back and just show you one more so you can see that there is some different information in there. Here's one where instead of read it says Jerry, instead of the number five it has 10,500. So that's Cloud Converter in action. If we go back over to Eclipse, I'll show you a couple more pieces of information that are sometimes helpful to know. Let's expand this window. First, there's a README file. When you check the code out from Google, it includes this README.txt. If you open it up, you'll see where you have my name and contact information. And then you'll also see some basic information about how the program is supposed to work. This is the flow. Here's some important notes. And here's a release history. The other thing I've included is this class called Cloud Converter Script. Cloud Converter Script does the same thing as what we just executed uh, via the command prompt, but it doesn't require any input from the user. You simply set the values within the code and then run it from here. So you'll see where I have a database credentials section where I tell it what type of database I'm using, what the actual access information and the uh, username and password are, as well as the uh, SQL to select the data out of it. I then also have my Salesforce credentials, and then you'll see I have a migration engine which handles the rest of the work. So that's it. That's Cloud Converter. My name is Reed Krauberg, and if you have uh, questions about it, I'd love to talk to you. Thank you.